Hi guys, so Plucifer has just gone open access, I guess that makes sense, that's how you say it. So everyone can use it now, um, everything linked down and join in their Discord and everything. And so that means my giveaway also has changed a bit. Giveaway is still going. Um, so everyone, the winners will get the ROM roll and also 12k uh, Plusa coins, which amounts to 20 hours, I think, of uh, playtime. And that can obviously be lengthened out for when you do actually play. Okay, so that's that's giveaway stuff. So um, in this video, I'll be showing how to play Minecraft VR using the Java edition. So so basically Vivecraft. So this will be a good little tutorial for you guys. So first, so I'm doing it first of all in um, Steam VR uh, in uh, Plutosphere because it just makes it easier for me. But um, Everything, all these sites here are going to be linked in the description and uh, so for easier access. And also a little uh, folder that BuzzFighter made um, that basically has like installers and everything for Plutus for people and uh, for a little like starter kit, I guess, which is useful. So, um, Minecraft VR, you're going to, of course, need to own Minecraft and have a Minecraft account uh, for Java and you'll need to own Java. And then you'll want to have to install it. So you'll want to have the Windows uh, download for Windows 7 to 8. Because Minecraft, uh, sorry no, Plutosphere isn't Windows 10. So you don't want Windows 10 or 11. After you've downloaded it, you'll want to obviously start it up uh, to create the files. So let's just start it up there. Updated Minecraft launcher. <coughs> And that's it. Uh, you don't need this new one. Uh, cancel. You don't want that one. You want this one here. Uh, see, I've already got it here, but I'll be showing you. So um, that's that. After that, you'll want to go and install Java to your Plus for PC. Uh, so that's obviously going to be linked down. And you want to agree and start free download. Um, Shush. Uh, that's that's that. So you need that downloaded. After that, that's basically it. It will give you a little like run up. You just follow it there and everything. Uh, you want it for sixty four, and then you'll want to um download Vivecraft. Um, <coughs> um. So from there, this link also says it says here Java edition uh, downloaded and available. Java available from here. That was linked there. And then Steam VR, we've already got that, that's pre-installed. And then a headset, so your Oculus 1 or 2. And your PC capable PC, Plutosphere. Uh, game for hands on support, but you don't need that. You've got your nice little controllers there. So as you see here, several micro version. All versions contain Optifine, which adds shader support. So you'll be able to download shaders. And I'll also have that, um, I'll have my selected favorite of shaders. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So, um... You'll want to download the latest Minecraft, obviously, usually if you want to play with most people. So that'll be 1.18. So, 0.1. So you want to uh, leave all of this and click that. And then you'll go here. Uh, you don't need to worry about that unless you're doing mods for some particular reason. And you'll want to install the second one here, the jbuild.vr installer, not the non-vr version because you're playing it in VR. So you'll install that. As you can see here, it says it's installing Vivecraft, a uh, little guide here as well. <laughs> so, uh, you can just read that there. I'm not really going to show it, but the link will be there. And then, um, after that, Minecraft Vivecraft will be installed and you'll be able to start it. So, let's quickly start it up then. For mine. You obviously want to select it afterwards. And, um... Play. I understand the risks. Don't warn me again. Or you can press that. I don't. I, I usually don't. <coughs> so we'll have that slowly start up. <coughs> slowly starting up Minecraft VR. Oh, also, you know that little cold I was talking about when I had 
doing things for my Roblox VR video. Ah, that was COVID. <laughs> Ironically. So I've got COVID. I'm in my home doing this video. I'm being ill. Fun. So look, it's starting up in VR. Uh, slowly. If we go to here, it stops. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, we've started in a Minecraft VR. And it can be a bit special, like really, really jittery. But you want to like let that kind of like sort itself out. So you might need to restart it again. Um, so we're going to now, as you can see here, we're going to now go into world and I'll kind of try show how to do um, uh, shaders. So I've got a selected world already. I'm going to quickly jump into that. <laughs> uh, as you can see there. All right, let's go to desktop. It's now starting up. It'll be like this while it's starting. You don't need to worry about that. It it's starting here, as you can see. It just doesn't show there. So we'll let that slowly work. It's magic. hundred shows up and then ta-da what's this this doesn't look like normal minecraft these colors and everything all right as you can see it's jittering again I thought, there we go look at the sun look how it looks minecraft vr look how it looks mamma mia <gasps> look at the sun, look at the sky, look at the colours, it's beautiful, uh, it's a bit weird, but it's Minecraft, VR, obviously this is a world I'm doing, I was planning to do a video later on, <laughs> so yes, um, this is Minecraft VR, and with shaders to make everything look nicer, and for right now, a little iron golem over there. And yeah, full on Minecraft experience. And you can do this for basically free. Once you have Minecraft, obviously. But yeah, so shaders, shaders, shaders. You want to get to your menu button, which is uh, going to be Y. And you'll want to go to options. And from there, you'll want to go to uh, video settings. And go down to shaders. Obviously, you're going to want what I would depict. I've picked Silda's Vibrant Shaders. Um, this is my own Chuka Paker. I tried, and for some reason, can't see anything. The sun is generally too bright. But this one here. Uh, so let's quickly turn it off, actually. Turn it off. And... Look at that. That's just how it is. Normal Minecraft textures. And then we'll go to our vibrant ones again. Sil Silda's ones. I've been saying to people silicone shaders for some particular reason. Look how much nicer that looks. Honestly, I would prefer this over... Well, actually, no, I wouldn't prefer. I can't say that. Okay, so um, to do it, obviously, you want to have your shaders. As you can see, you've got your files here. Um, so you'll want to... It will take you. You want to have this open, so you're in Minecraft VR, you've got your normal Minecraft textures. You want to go to the shaders option, you want to open your shaders so it shows up this bit. You'll then want to go download some shaders, for example, um, Silda's Vibrant Shaders here. Um, this is a really nice one, the one that I have. Um, you want to download the 1.18.1, so you'll then obviously want to download this once you can find it. And then, um, you'll then want to have, open up your folders, and then, from the two across, as you can see here, I've got, like, kind of, you don't unzip it, I want to make that clear, you don't want to unzip it, you want to just have it at the bottom here, um, as its normal thing, and then you'll want to, uh, pull it across, and put it in, and then you will... Open up Minecraft VR again, and it should show up in the shaders section. And that is basically it. 
you've got your Minecraft VR, uh, you've got your shaders, and look at that, you've got a beautiful thing. Um, this was actually a seed, this particular run I had. Oh, actually, it looks nicer now, the blurriness has gone away. But, um, yeah, that is basically everything that you'll need to know for Minecraft VR. It does take a longish process. It does take a longish process to do, but once you're done, it's worth the time and you'll be ready with all this Minecraft loveliness. And of course, um, links will be in the description and um, I'll have that folder which will let you download some things. No, which which will have some of the things readily in there to be downloaded. Installers, the installers are there. And yeah, that is it. So, if this has helped, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, check out the giveaway because you know, 12k, no, yeah, 12k Pluto coins. You can spend quite a lot of time in this beautiful Minecraft thing. And uh, if you guys would like the uh, actual seed that I've got here, I can also give that in and that is basically it so yeah make sure to like and subscribe check the description and i will see you all in another video stay classy